Well, James, are you calling me the little chief or young Asana? Or, and who wants to be the big chief? <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss that tonight over dinner. We'll discuss that tonight over dinner and an arm wrestle, James. How's that? <laughs> now his head is up again. He's looking around. There's a lot of antelope moving through this area. In Yala in the background, and then there are wildebeest behind us that have been moving through the thicket. Can't see them at the moment, but a lot of wildebeest, the impala are rutting around here. So there's a lot going on that I think is catching his attention. So that's why he's up and looking around. I love YouTube. <laughs> you, you asked how big are their paws. So this young male leopard, his paws are probably, if I can show you over here. You can just see over there, but let me show you in perspective to my hand. I think he's catching his attention. So that's why he's up and looking around. I love YouTube. <laughs> you, you asked how big are their paws. So this young male leopard, his paws are probably, if I can show you over here. You can just see over there, but let me show you in perspective to my hand. I think he's catching his attention. Because they are smaller cats, so the female leopard track was, or paw is about that size, much smaller. Then a male's. A male's probably much bigger, about that, that size. And then obviously lions have rather big paws. Nice and peaceful. I can hear a grey-headed bushrike calling in the distance. And there's the blacksmith lapwings at the waterhole. There were baboons down there earlier at the dam. I think have they moved. I think they've moved off. Probably going to. Oh, they're still there. Okay, they're still there. I think they can see them on the dam cam. Um, but they'll probably climb into the trees, the big trees in the drainage line, shortly and sleep there for the night. I'm just hoping that. This young leopard decides to stand up and move around a bit. <laughs> he looks looks a little lazy, doesn't he? Oh, there's a yawn. Oh, look at that. Now that's a good sign, because with a the yawn, they're obviously trying to get oxygen into their body. And I always, I always guess, but I reckon two or three yawns, and then the chances are he might stand up and move. Let's see. Lovely shot to that. I mean, just you can see his camouflage. He blends in just behind those leaves. You can see those beautiful eyes. Oh, there's another one. Okay, that's two. <laughs> that's two. Come on, let's see. Seb, what do you think? I think three yawns. Three is the magic number. You think so? Let's see. White Lady Owen, no, I don't think he's developing a dewlap just yet. You asked if it's just perhaps because he's full. I, I don't think so. I think it's just a, bit, a little bit of um, maybe the angle he's sitting at, uh, but he's still far too young for that dewlap. You can just see his throat moving up and down, I think possibly just from the panting there, but it's not necessarily a dewlap that's forming there just yet. He's still a bit too young. That's just uh, breathing and just a little bit of loose skin around there, but it's not a 
proper dewlap that you see on a big male like Tingana. Come on, we need one more yawn. <laughs> it's like a waiting game, isn't it? But we know that the patience does help. Oh, really? Okay. We're going to head to Taylor, who's leaving Arethusa now, and on her way back to Juma. He has indeed. There he is, up and on the move, back towards the tree, still looking around. And is moving towards that tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to reposition quickly. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm going to go this side because I think we'll see him climbing up the tree from here. Hold on. Oh, there he is. He's just over there. Let's see, maybe we see him jump up into the tree from this angle. Okay, get ready, because I think he's going to jump up soon. <laughs> and it takes a while sometimes again, the patience game. Maybe he's so full he can't jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm so full. All right, Lady Owen, just getting back to that question you asked earlier about the a dew lap. I don't think it's a dew lap just yet. I mean, it's a bit of loose skin, but I mean, eventually that will f form part of his dew lap. But again, he's far too young for a dew lap. Like a big dominant male that, that a big dominant male leopard has. Right, let's quickly head to Brent in the Mara. He wants to say goodbye and we'll sit with Tosana a bit longer. <laughs> 